All right, my little typesters. Um, before we kick off the demo today, I'd like to tell you what the National Day is. And I know you're not going to believe this because I can't believe it either. It's National Video Tutorial Day. I know it seems hard to believe, but it's really amazing. So that being said, let's get started. Um, the first thing you'll need to have is your latest compendium template open in InDesign. And you'll need to have your covers um, with either that can be an in InDesign or it can be an Illustrator. And your template uh, that you put together for your hang tags, both vertical and your horizontal versions. So it's the same process that we did before when we were copying and pasting our initial uh, studies with initials and with text. So what we'll want to do is make sure that we convert all the text and again you'll want to save a new version of your template uh, before you do all the conversion. But as I select everything again you go under type and create outlines or shift command O and this will convert everything. Again when you copy and paste over it will default in InDesign sometimes. So I just want to select all and copy. Then in InDesign, first thing we'll want to do is make sure we add a new set of spreads, a new spread after our page 15. And just like before, we'll control click and override all master page items. We're just going to delete this text on the right and we're going to delete this header here. So now I'm going to copy and paste my vertical hang tag from Illustrator into InDesign. So again, you just want to double check to make sure that you have all the text outlined. And I'm going to start with copying over the inside uh, spread first. So again, you can go under Copy or Command-C, and then into InDesign, and we're going to paste. And if you end up pasting in in your display looks something like where it distorts the type and it's not rendering like how you would hope it would. Go under view, display performance, and set it to high quality and it'll shift it so that the type looks correct. Next step is actually get it to scale because we have to fit the cover in here as well. So again, you can hold shift and command and scale it down or you can use the scale uh, by percentage up here in the corner. I would recommend that on this example. Just make sure that the constrained proportions box is checked so it's linked together. And I would just set this to 75%. And you just can align it across the top. Something that's centered within our grid. I'm sure this would be just fine. The other thing to notice is in this example, we really don't have a border for the design. So if your case scenario is like this, then just draw a stroke box over top of your design. Just make sure it's one point black stroke box. And this gives us a frame for the design that you've created. Next, I'm just going to copy and paste over the cover. This I'm going to scale down by 50%. And with my guides, I'll just align it. So your design should look something like this. Again, the same thing if your cover doesn't have a frame to it, create a frame that's proportional, like so. So now I'm going to switch back over to Illustrator and copy our 
horizontal design. Again, I want to make sure that the type is outlined. I'm going to copy and do the same thing again. Paste. This one I'm going to set to be about 60% scale. I'm going to align it off the type. Same thing with this one. Draw a box proportionate to the design I've created. Should look something like this. And lastly, I'll copy my cover over. Set this one at 60 as well. And create a frame for it as well. So now I have everything uh, design wise, copy and pasted into um, my format for my compendium. I can play around with alignments and how it's laid out. Looking at an alignment based on the bottom here, just so everything's a little bit cleaner in its presentation. So again, look for those alignments the best you can. Uh, the last step we need to do is title it. So this is just hang tag. And then there's text for the hang tag in the phase three chair multi page typographic layout in the grid. So if you just copy this and paste, you can see the text is way too long. Again, bring it up, delete the text on the right, and what you want to do is flow. Again, by clicking the little red plus here into the other box, like so. And so that completes our hang tag. So now let's get to the covers. If we scroll all the way up to the top of our compendium, should have a blank cover page. Now, if you've designed your compendium uh, cover in InDesign. You can just copy and paste it from that InDesign page right into here, or if you've worked into this, it's fine. You're ready to go. The last page we need to add is one page after 17 for our back cover. What you want to grab is just a none. You don't need the master page. And you just need one single page here. You can drag it from here. You can drag it from the spread. You just want to make sure that you delete the page on the right. So you have your cover and your back cover to put in place. So again, if you've done them in InDesign, you just copy and paste them over pretty easily. Um, if you've done them in Illustrator, it's the same process. I'll take my cover. I'll outline all my text. I'll copy it. I'll paste it, the cover is in place, scroll all the way to the bottom of my compendium, select my back cover, make sure anything that's type-based is set to outlines, I will copy and paste the same thing into the back page. So again, double check all your work, all your alignments, make sure everything is perfect before you go to do a final uh, PDF of this. 
So again, just double check all your work, all your type, all your rags for your type, all your titles, make sure there's no spelling errors and all that good stuff. You want to make sure you save your template. So now we have two steps left to do. We need to export as a PDF and upload that to the class uh, share. So under File, we'll go to Adobe PDF Pre Presents. We're just going to do a high quality print. We're going to title it with your name, .pdf, and save. And in our final export, we want to make sure that we do all pages and we want to click spreads so that we preserve the layouts that we've put together and hit export. Now up here, it's showing that it's rendering out, so it just takes a little bit of time. Okay, so now I want to go find that file that I've just created and double click on it. Put it at like 50% so we can see it. And now we can click through and see that our file is all put together. Again, double check for any errors because this is the final file that you're turning in. We can see that, oh, we have a little error here. Uh, where something has disappeared, so we want to go in and double check that again and then re export that PDF. It's the same process, so just double check. You can see there's a little glitches in my PDF. Again, if you zoom in, sometimes it's a rendering thing, sometimes it's not. So just double checking my work to make sure that these little details are all perfect before we turn it in. So, again, go through. Look at it really closely. So our last step is to upload our file. So under assignments, go to complete compendium and cover. And there's an upload final PDF files here. I'm just going to click on this. Bring up a Google Drive. Now all you have to do is drag and drop into the drive. And once it's uploaded, your compendium is complete. Alrighty, thank you.